The by-elections aren't the end of Corbyn. Since Jeremy Corbyn was elected, commentators on the right and the left have lined up to predict that this event or that defeat will be the end of him. Defeat in the Copeland by-election and narrow victory in Stoke once again has the punditocracy cheerfully predicting the death of Corbyn. The results are bad. Opposition parties tend to overperform their general election performances at by-elections, so slipping back at this stage is a bad omen for the Labour Party. But there are two groups that matter in Labour, the Corbynistas in the grassroots and Labour MPs. Neither will be moved by all this. Corbyn supporters will take solace from the defeat of UKIP in Stoke. So too will his opponents in the Parliamentary Labour Party. Why? Because in their view, they tried to get rid of him in the summer, and it didn't work. They now think that their best approach is to stay quiet at Westminster and spend as much time as possible in their constituencies. If Stoke had fallen to UKIP, or even more worryingly to the Tories, that would suggest that every Labour seat was up for grabs. Even Labour MPs with large majorities would have been worried. The group that matters is the 5,000 Club, the large group of Labour MPs with majorities of around 5,000. Are they more scared of being got rid of by pro-Corbyn activists or anti-Corbyn voters? That Stoke is still a Labour seat will make them think that they can survive as long as they keep their heads down. And what about their colleagues with smaller majorities? Well, that's politics for you.